You too is the goddamn deal, man. It's money only, pal. Happy. Here we are back with another video, man. And today, I'm at Sam's real quick. My favorite store, my second home, to get some stuff real quick. It's the beginning of the week, so uh, gotta grab a few things and uh, hit the machines and restock that. And then we might go check on the lag, bro. My lag been in the shop since April, and uh, I'm I'm ready to have my car back, bro. I got I got plans for it, you know. Trying to get my swangers, <laughs> swangers on the way, but uh, yeah, what are we doing today? So, uh, if you're new to channel, make sure you hit that like, comments, and subscribe. Hit that bell, turn on all post notifications, and let's go in here and slide in, in the sands real quick, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man, your boy is tired, man. Doing what I do, plus driving overnight, I can get to you, you know. And it seems like I don't be getting a lot of a lot of sleep, you know. I, I be tired, but I still wake up. At like six, six thirty, seven, and you know, do it all over again. But um, I want to try a new pastry, bro. But this sounds, they ain't really got good options no more. You know what I'm saying? Because the the cinnamon rolls, the big tech junks, they just hit or miss. One month they eat them, and one month they don't. So I want to try something else, but they ain't really got nothing. They got. They got ding dongs. Do people still eat ding dongs and Twinkies? Do y'all still eat these y'all right here? Then they got these. And then they got these. So I don't know, man. The cheapest one is the oatmeal pies. I don't know. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section which one you would get. Because it's looking real oatmeal pie-ish. Yeah, it's looking real oatmeal pie-ish. But I'm thinking they'll still eat these ding dongs. I don't know, bro. I don't know. That's why I ain't never just got another pastry. Cause I hate trying stuff and they don't eat it. I'm losing money. So we're gonna go with oatmeal cream pie. That's what. That's what. That's what my gut telling me. The oatmeal cream pies. You know, I have to come get the foods. I ain't gonna lie. It's pros and cons to getting the food, man, because you can mark them up to like $3, which I do. But these right here, these white chocolate joints, I'll make a killing. Good look. This box is $11.98, so $12. Each, uh, it's 18, no, it's nine packs in here. And each pack is 66 cents. So, I got these marked at three dollars. <laughs> Y'all do the math. But the cons to having food in machines, Sam don't really have a lot of food marked for resale or packaged for resale. So I couldn't put what should I say pizza rolls. Y'all see, I couldn't put pizza rolls in here. I couldn't put those mozzarella sticks right there. And they got some. They got some food options. They're just not made for vending machines. You know, I recently found out that. The guys in the shop appreciate these Gatorade Zeros because of the, the zero sugar. And some of them are doing like some keto diet or whatever and they can only have zero sugar drinks, I'm assuming. So, and plus it's hot in that red house. So I get this and some Powerade. Eight items, bro, 138. Every time I come to Sam's, it's a minimum $100 each time. All right, so we just pulled up to Walmart and uh, I'm not sure if I ever told y'all this, but use Walmart, well, hell, grocery stores, period, to get some of your, your drinks. You know, cause Sam's only got so much, you know, they got the standard Coke products, and uh, but they don't really have all the, the flavors and different kind of variations of sodas like Walmart does, right? So I use, you know, Walmart because it's some sodas I don't have to have in bulk. For example, me with Sprite, Sprite sells slow in my machine, so instead of getting it bulk, I just come to Walmart and get like two six packs and just have it on, have it on whenever it do sell, rather than just take up space in my car and my storage at home with a with a case of, of Sprite, right? So I come here to get my my Coke Cherry, and then Mountain Dew because they don't have that in bulk at Sam, so. And then too, she they be having some deals on these on these sodas up in here, so you just never know. All right, so we just pulled up to the location, and uh, since it is Monday and I feel Friday, it's not gonna be too much missing. 
have anything at all, but I knew when I came here Friday, I needed more of my food items, so I got that. And uh, I know I need some hot chips, so I got that as well. But uh, if you in Texas with the vending machine business and you're not taking advantage of this heat, you hustling backwards, bro. Your location should be seeing you at least three times a week. Summertime is, is peak season for a vending machine business. Folks is hot, folks is thirsty, and uh, they want something to drink, man. So you gotta keep them drinks filled and stocked up at all times throughout the week, bro. So we do got new options. You know, I wanna switch it up for them real quick. Got some crushed orange, got some crushed strawberry. Then we got some fruit punch meat made. And of course, some uh, Mountain Dew. You know, just switch it up. Give them something fresh to look at. All right, I got the new drinks in. I just shifted everything to the right. I took out a row of this and a row of that. I put the new ones in, so Gucci. All right, man, in and out, quick and fast, man, like a robbery. So, once I got done, came outside, one of the workers that work up there, he was like, hey, bro, that car clean and fuck. I said, appreciate it, bro. And he was like, you want to sell it? I was like, ooh. Ooh, I don't know, man. And he was like, how much would you sell it for? I said, I ain't, I ain't thought about it. Because in my head, I'm thinking, my lax still in the shop, my uh, my two-row car, my, my two-row car, it do its thing on two-row. And so she, I got my grand a car, but that mud ain't ready yet, man. I gotta get tags and stuff. I gotta get a detail. I gotta take it to the body shop. So I wanna do that mud right. So I was like, I don't know, man. So if I come up here Wednesday and Friday and he's still on that same minute, I'm gonna tell, tell him a price, bro. I'm gonna tell him a number and see what he do with that, you know? But I'm just like, damn, let me find out you want my grand marquees. Dusty and all. You know, I'm not even done with this car yet. I still gotta get my pipes on here. And then I gotta get some more tent. But uh, next time he asked me about it, I'm gonna give him a number. I'm like, hey man, you give me this right now, I go get the title and get everything about here. What, what you gonna do now? What you gonna do now? All right, man, so we back at the crib. Uh, slight restock day. I was gonna go to the shop and check on my car, but it's hot out here, dog. It is hot. So I'm gonna just say that for another vlog. But yeah, I'm about to get this video up for y'all and uh, get ready to get some rest for the night. My Amazon relay load, so I appreciate all the love and support. And since this, this since this is the last week of July, y'all know we got a collection video coming up. Y'all love those things, man. So uh, again, appreciate all the love and support. Make sure you follow me on all my socials, and uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta take my sip, bro. I've been sipping. Hold on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. And I'm out, bruh. Yeah.